A lot of you know that the body of the late Mubad was assumed from the grave and he was taken to the hospital where his body will be examined by professionist doctors for autopsy. Now they said the autopsy has already been concluded. There are candlelight at the pain, the last prospect to the late singer Mubad. So I want you guys to watch this particular video of so Arise TV News and how the whole event were covered, we'll be right back to give you the full gist about his autopsy. So, stay tuned. Police force yesterday night announced that the autopsy procedure of lead singer Ideri Olua Oladimeji Aloba, popularly known as Mubad, has been successfully completed. The Afrobeat singer died last Tuesday, aged 27, under what many have termed mysterious circumstances prompting the Acting Inspector General of Police, Mr. Kayode Egbetokun, to order a thorough probe by the Lagos Police Command. Meanwhile, youths across the country have been protesting against the death of Mubad. Yesterday night in Lagos, the youths gathered in large numbers to stage a candlelight procession and tribute concert for the late Nigerian singer, demanding justice. Arise correspondent Ikena Kinsley reports. On the 12th of September, 2023, the Nigerian music industry lost a talent, Ileri Lua Aloba, popularly called Mobad. And since his death, there's been an outrage on social media, people calling for justice for those responsible for his demise. Today, we are taking a walk from Lekki Phase 1 gate down to Murakunala Park as fans pay tribute to him in Lagos State. Justice for Mobad! Justice for Mobad! Social media has been buzzing for two weeks the demise of former Malian records artist Mobad. His death has enriched fans who have been calling for the Nigerian police to investigate issues surrounding his death. However, the Lagos State Police Command on Thursday confirmed the exhumation of the corpse of the late singer for autopsy to investigate circumstances surrounding his death as Nigerians continue to call for justice. We are here for Mubad, not in this a peaceful procession to pay tribute to the late singer was held in Lagos as fans staged a peace walk from Lekki Phase 1 to Mori Okunola Park in VI, where a concert was held in his honor. <laughs> Celebrities like Dotun, Kike, Zlatan, OGB, David O, just to mention a few, were present to pay their respects to the late rapper. <laughs> Attendees had a few words to say about the artist. The government is doing everything we can on this issue. And, uh, you know, I want to give thanks to, to our governor, you know, for taking every necessary step to make sure that we get just some of that. It's something I'm also willing and ready to be part of. And I've done, I've done everything possible within my means to make sure that, you know, we get this. And I'm happy that every stakeholder on this, I uh, also doing everything possible to make sure that justice is being served, and uh, that's also what we are, what, what the youth are also re echoing yeah. in, to, to, uh, today. Okay. And, uh, and I'm sure we're definitely going to get that justice. I believe the death of Mubad will change the narrative as it used to be before, whereby the, the industry is divided. This time around, we are coming out with one voice an injury to one is an injury to all. Justice must be served. Imole, Imole, Imole forever. I will never, ever, ever forget. And we're going to make sure that we get justice. That is what we police they do. We they still form activity. If they like, we they no show working. Justice is a must. Everybody that was responsible in his death must be made to pay. We cannot continue to exist in a lawless country for the sake of Mubad so that he can find eternal peace must make sure that we get justice. I'm here to honor him. I mean, I considered him a friend when he was here, and on his passing, it's good to honor people when they're here and when they're gone. Um, and even for an artist, when you look around here now, you see the amount of people here, the amount of people here to support Mobad. It's, it's almost like a dream of every artist, and I'm happy that, you know, he's getting it right now. I don't know if he can see it, but people loved him when he was here, and I'm sure people still love him very much. And um, we just pray that this kind of thing doesn't happen again. We've all gathered here because we want justice for Mobad. Um, the situation that has just happened is very bad for our industry. And it, for me as a record label owner, it has kind of given 
uh, me uh, a lot of things to think about on how to manage people and all of that and how disputes can be resolved. So we're here because we, we are gathered here to make sure that Mobaz get justice and for him to get justice, it helps our industry. This is a very, very sad situation. That's why we're gathered here. This boy has fought so hard. The voice of the youth in Lagos have been heard loud and clear with one demand only that justice is served. Now that you have watched this particular video, so I want you guys to also hear your opinion about it. So, what do you guys think about what Kid Mobile? Now that a lot of people are speculating, news are there that they saw blood, though there were really pictures and videos of blood in his grave. So, there was also professional doctors who came out to dispute that, okay, the fact that they were blood, this is because he was not bound before they put him to the grave because normally when somebody died we went through some setting uh bam putting i don't know what i'm not a professionist i don't know the word the rifle word he was using like trying to you know a lot of you guys know already what i'm trying to say drilling out the blood putting a lot of alcohol to make sure that the body don't smell while he was in the uh mortuaries and all that see because he died that thing or two days or the day thereafter they buried him so there are still chances that there might be blood gathering in his body though they might not be full scale of blood since he's dead floating but there are still chances there can be blood dripping out from his body ears or anything that okay but now that they have launched the full scale of or have concluded the autopsy, but they just want people to wait give it to the court or the proper authority to announce it because they are not in better position to give but they are just assuming telling people that he was not alive while he was in the coffee or laying to grave that just as the people are speculating out there okay mobile was dead before he was buried he was not buried alive like what people are speculating out there so i also want you guys to watch this particular videos of kenny saints brown who said that Nigeria industry, which is the full industry, need the regulatory body. Like before you send artists and all that, there should be a NAVDAC or regulatory body that will safeguard the artist or the life of the hungry artist who will want to sign anything signable just because they need a platform to shine out there, a platform to showcase their talent and all that. But by the time they get involved, things get messy for them, they want to escape, but now, because they signed the contract, it becomes a big problem for them. So I just want you guys to watch this video. We'll be right back. Trying to keep my emotions, you know, under wrap right now. Uh, I'm, I'm, doctor, you know, what, what you, we are seeing now is as a result of neglect. Neglect from government. Neglect from the system that should have provided a regulation, policies, protection defense but this is an industry the entertainment industry in nigeria is organically grown and so because it's organically grown they think that ah they go settle themselves they, they they find their way they will find their way i would be it has reached a stage where it's gone beyond our hands in a situation where a record labeled i mean this is it's very open very porous Anybody today, tomorrow you can decide that, okay, I have my own record, but if you find somebody here who can sing, there's, no, there's nothing like a NAVDAC. <laughs> if NAVDAC can have, the pharmaceutical industry can have a regulation, regulate, regulatory body called NAVDAC for the food and drugs. If the organization, the, the manufacturing industry can have standard organization of Nigeria, and they are called industries, the creatives are not just not just the singers and the Nollywood. We have the comedians, we have the dancers, we have uh, um, costumers, we have makeup artists, we have event rentals, we have lightings, we have so many, so many stakeholders. And this our uh, government, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm a true Nigerian. I mean, I'm part of. We are all part of this. But if somebody comes out to say that. We need the regulations now. And they think that uh, there is tourism. The Ministry of Tourism should cover. Excuse you. How much of 
tourism, the, tourism what, what is the, the correlation between the tourism industry and the creative industry is that the creative industry boosts the tourism industry. So they don't know much about the industry. So they don't know when, when, when a record label, will, they, when, when an artist is being signed on, there are no rules, no guidelines, no, no, a, a record owner, a label owner can decide, that, oh, I'm signing for 10 years. And so it's 20, 80, 80 to the record label, 20 to the, to the artist. And tomorrow, at the beginning, the artist is hungry. At the beginning, the artist wants to be heard. At the beginning, the artist just wants to be famous. At the beginning, the hunger of the artist would not even, in fact, the illiteracy in the artist, because it's an industry where we have more, 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 more illiterates. I mean, just by another language, people that are not so learned. I mean, people that are not educated. But guess what? What they have is the innate talent. And any way that gives them platform at that point, they want to roll. But at the point, as, this, as they go on, they realize that, ah, uh, this is slavery. 80, 20, 70, 20, as the case may be. But guess what? The record label continues to enjoy, to exploit, to, to, to cheat, to, to enslave the artists because there are no regulations. There is no government body that you submit, that you pick a form from, that you want to own a record company. Okay, these are the rules and the guidelines. So bring the let's see, you are signing a new artist. Okay, what, how many years? Three years, two years. Then what, on what category, I mean, what is the sharing rate, ratio? And all that. So neglect from, from all of that because it was, I mean, it's an industry where every when Sony music went down way back and premier music, young people had to come up. New sound, it's called Afrobeat, where everybody's trying. Olamide tried, he excelled, signed few people. And that's how he's been rolling. He's still organically grown. This, the neglect now has resulted in the whole world rising up to ask for justice okay. out of an abuse that could have been controlled. What do you guys think about the way the Nigerian authorities are handling it so far, the investigations and all that? What do you guys also think that they have not been calling these people for questioning like the uh, Samlari and Neramali and Wafimali and the Father Mali? Why are they not calling these people for questioning? Why are they just like, okay, let them be and they are trying to robust the whole case we should be seeing some certain actions to make nigeria to believe that they will be in a state of a chloroborne at the end of the whole case but as it is now i don't think there is hope for it even if nigeria from now to tomorrow or next year protest in the streets the nigeria government will still find a way to 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 turn it or twist it at like okay the protest is being sponsored. These are, these are just peaceful protesters. They are not even protesting. They are just moving around to say, okay, we want justice. We want justice. Yeah, they are protesting. They are not rioting. It's just a peaceful protest. But Nigeria government is trying to turn it into chaos, shooting tear gas and, you know, trying to make people feel like, okay, the, the protest is being hijacked. I, re I read one of the articles or whatsoever rubbish that the Lagos State Police put out there that, this protest is being sponsored by some certain people. They know their mission. Nobody knows their mission. All the Nigerians are just asking is just justice for their late singer or brother or whatsoever. Okay, they want justice for mobile and they want somebody to be held accountable for his death. Except he died naturally. If not, somebody should be held accountable. But for personally, for what I've seen in this case, if it was just a bad record label, like okay, in a record label matana killer. Yes, there will be full scale of investigation that will lead to arrest of somebody. But this case is not just a bad record label, it's also involved a cartel. You know, Lagos, cartel, drug cartel, drug baron. And this thing is being connected to the federal. Do you guys know that they just recently, about a month ago, they make Neramali a drug law ambassador like the they said him becoming the face to promote peace that they will say no to drugs and meanwhile is a drug lord so if the government knows about him and they're still trying to give him a position so that he have more peace and time to do whatever he's doing there's no how you're going to find a solution to this problem because your state governor your federals are all involved in it so 
if you should arrest Niramali or Samlari, definitely somebody will confess and you will know that your state governors or your federal or whatsoever. When I mean federal, you know the person what they talk about. So nothing, I no find solution for this thing. Even if they said they arrested somebody, it's not gonna be Niramali or Samlari because these are big meets in the industry for them. Their own tools they are using to carry out the atrocities. So it's not gonna happen. So that's just my own personal opinion. I want you guys to comment your own thoughts at the same time about it. This is where I'm going to be ending our video. I just want to appreciate everyone that have been watching our content. God bless you for your love and kindness and your support towards our channel. If you have not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. You are missing a lot. Too. There are a lot of our great content in our platform. Just subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you wouldn't miss out any of our future posts. Anytime we upload a new video, you'll be among the first person to be notified. For all our returning subscribers, we love you. God loves you more. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Until we meet again, peace out.